Hey guys, I'm Yash. Today I will show you how to use Touch ID for local authentication. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single view application, name it Touch ID. Uh, and make sure this options are selected as it is. Next, save it wherever you want. First of all, we will add a few stuff in our main dot storyboard. Let's add a label. This will be a status label and a button. Okay, uh, let's give some constraints. Horizontal in container and uh, 10 from top, 0 from left, 0 from right and make sure this red lines are selected and a height of 75 and uh, items of new constraints so that uh, this uh, selecting this option will make uh, the object uh, confirm to the constraints okay so add it center the text make a bigger size make it bigger and button will be horizontally and vertically in container and uh, let's give a uh, width of 100 and a height of 35 and again adapt to the constraints and here it is let's change the labels this will be verify and this will be please verify now we need to attach uh, both this both of this to the view controller so open the view controller in assistant editor i'll go full screen so okay first of all uh, first label this will be status label and uh, we will bind action to this verify button which will be verify pressed and it will be action by ui button connect so we are done with the storyboard so let's hop over to view controller get rid of this stuff we don't need it so first of all we will import local authentication and then uh, inside the button uh, we will create a constant let context of type la context will be LA, uh, it will be object of class la context First of all, we will check uh, whether the device supports touch ID or not. So, check touch ID supported or not. Okay. So, if context dot can evaluate policy, uh, policy uh, is an enum. So, press dot and you will get two options. We will select device owner authentication with biometrics. Biometrics is the touch ID, okay? And error will be nil. So open brackets, this is if condition and let's create else. Uh, see if it's uh, not supporting uh, biometrics, so we will change the status label dot text equals to device don't support touch id okay and inside this if condition now if it supports what we will do is we will do context dot evaluate policy so it will prompt us for using touch id again policy is an enum so device with uh, biometrics reason is the string displayed while asking for verification so let's write please verify yourself and the reply is a closure so press enter and we will get uh, first is a boolean so it will be is successful and error will be error and the code will be if is successful if it's successful status label dot text done verification and else 
status label dot text will be failure so yeah we are done with the project uh, now let's try to run it in a simulator so select iphone 6 okay we have error okay uh, this are pro uh, we are using it inside the closure so it will be self dot status label and again self dot status label now let's run it okay let's try to run in a simulator let's see what happens so here is the simulator i'll make it bigger okay now when i press verify it shows device don't support touch id because it's a simulator hey guys uh, i am recording my iphone 6 screen right now uh, i have deployed touch id app to my iphone so i will open the app which is asking us to please verify i will press verify button uh, it is showing touch uh, please verify yourself message so i will place my thumb so after it's done it will take a bit of time a delay to display this uh, to change the status now as you may see it is showing done verification so thank you guys keep watching